Are these glasses about to be the next big thing in fashion? Well, no. These glasses are the ever-evolving future of virtual reality and augmented reality. These two technologies are not the same. They share one major difference. WSU professor Dr. Don McMahon explains. If you were wearing these goggles for virtual reality and trying to cross the street, there's a good chance you're gonna get run over by a car. So if you can still see the real world, that's augmented reality. The most well-known and small-scale example of AR technology is Pokemon Go, which you can play on your phone. As McMahon mentioned, you can see the real world, but there are still safety warnings. We get that little warning every time we play Pokemon Go. Be aware of your surroundings, don't trespass, and don't play this while driving. These safety concerns still apply to the much pricier VR and AR technologies that remain in Dr. McMahon's lab, like HTC's Vive, which I got to try out for myself. Today, these teachers-to-be are getting a glimpse at how VR and AR technology can be used in the classroom as early as elementary school. Some of the apps that the students are using right now can help students figure out sight words, um, kind of learn the alphabet. Um, it kind of brings things to life, so it's kind of neat how kids um, can connect with that because it's not just a word on a page. It turns out the possibilities for using VR and AR technologies in the classroom are endless. In biology classes, those complicated terms on page can turn into moving pictures. WSU student Michaela Parrish shared how she would want to use this technology in her future math class. I think of the, a lot of the augmented reality um, can definitely be used for um, older students um, focusing on math, you know, fun ways to keep them engaged and um, interested during a lesson and then, you know, turn it around and be like, hey, just kidding, we're actually doing math. The technology in this lab is as fun as it sounds, as not just meant for these future teachers. You too can get involved in the research with Dr. Don McMahon, and there's no prior knowledge required. You can find out more about the Assistive Technology Research and Development Lab on its website, labs.wsu.edu forward slash assistive tech. You can also reach out to Dr. McMahon directly at don.mcmahon at wsu.edu. From Cleveland Hall, this is Kyla Emmy, Murrow News 8.